guys so today I'm doing something really fun and exciting and I'm super excited about this I'm doing a $20 makeup challenge swap with my friend Lux here on YouTube Lux and makeup you guys have probably heard about her a few times I've talked about her a little bit that's my cat did you just hear that he just tried to like barge in here Owen go play so I've probably talked about her a few times on this channel, but she's just one of my really good friends here on YouTube, and we are doing the $20 makeup challenge swap. Was that right? Basically, we just bought each other $20 worth of makeup, and then we put it in a box and mailed it to each other. So I have her box right here, and she has mailed me $20 worth of makeup, and I am going to apply it to my face, talk about the products, and basically that's it. So I'm really excited to open this box. I've had it for a few days now, but I haven't had time to film. So it is like killing at me as to what is in here. And so now I'm going to open it and reveal the magic with you guys and while I'm doing it to myself. So before I open the box, I just want to let you guys know that I will leave her video linked down below along with her channel. And you should totally go check her out because she is like the chillest, like most realist if that's a word is that a word person on YouTube like she just keeps it real she is just herself she is not trying to be anyone else and I love that she's super creative and she's just so freaking awesome and cool she's just a cool person she's just like one of those people where you're like oh she's such a cool person so I will leave her channel linked down below and I will leave her video the $20 makeup challenge linked right here so if you want to see what I got for her you can just click on the video or in the down bar and it'll take you over there all right, so this is the inside. It's super cute. So Lex is from Michigan, and I'm originally from Michigan. I'm living in Virginia right now, and she said that she got me something Michigan in here, which I'm super excited about. But okay, so first thing. Oh, this is something Michigan. They're little Michigan coasters. In case you guys are wondering what Michigan looks like, looks like a mitten. So cute! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This makes me so happy. Made in Detroit. Adorable. And I don't have anything Michigan in my house, and now I do. Oh my god, she's so cute. She put little she put little tags on them. Okay. So first is an eyebrow pencil from Rimmel. And it's the color black brown. It was a dollar. She said this was on sale, couldn't resist. I don't think I actually got her anything for her eyebrows. Whoops! <laughs> and this is the liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. This was a dollar and it says the first liquid liner I experimented with. I've never tried this liner and I actually tried to find it for her, but I couldn't find it when they were sold out when I was trying to find it. Good product for the price. This is an e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer in Sunkissed and this was a dollar. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is a Physician's Formula Natural Blush in Rosy or Organics. It was a dollar. Found this at the Dollar Tree. I have a different shade and it's really nice. I tried to look at the Dollar Tree for makeup for her, but my Dollar Tree sucked and all they had was nail polish, which is not going to work, obviously. Then I need to pick this up. This is going to be super long. So next is an NYC um, like eyeshadow palette doodad thing for brown eyes it was four dollars comes with a primer yay <laughs> then this one is a mascara from Rimmel it says I heart Rimmel mascaras uh, but haven't tried this one I hope it's good three dollars are you guys keeping track I'm not keeping I'm not tallying up the price in my head at all then this is a mega wild mega last um, I think it's like a liquid lip gloss rose to the occasion two dollars Obsessed with these. I have almost every color. They stay all day. Then she got me the Fit Me Foundation in 130. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It was $5. I splurged on this. Hopefully it kind of matches. That was a problem that we were having was trying to match foundation colors because obviously like I've never met her in person and like I didn't really have anything to go off of so we just kind of told each other foundations that we use and hope that it would work but I think this will match. Whoops. And then last is an e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer, $2. Works well for under eye area. So I am going to start putting everything on my face. Alright, so I have 
pinned my bangs back and we are just using our own brushes for this or else we would not have been able to get each other like anything if we had to include brushes in our $20 makeup challenge. But I'm going to start with the foundation. Honestly, this is like a really good, a really good match for me. I think it's, I think it's working good. It might be like a touch too light, but honestly that's just because I'm super, super freaking tan right now because it's the summer, which probably won't last for very long. I don't know, this matches me really good. It's kind of starting to oxidize a little bit and it's a little bit darker. Good job, Lux. It looks, looks dang good. Alright, so that is foundation done. I really do love this foundation. I think it's really nice. It blends so lovely. It just blends like a dream. Now I'm going to go with the e.l.f. under eye concealer. I really like it. It has like a really creamy feeling. It kind of has like a... Like not an oily feeling, but like a like a silicone feeling, so it feels really smooth and nice. Alright, now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. bronzer in Sunkissed. Yeah, Sunkissed. This is super nice. I like this. Just gives you like a really nice bronzy glow. I like that. I I like that for the summer when I'm tan. It has a bit of shimmer to it, but it just gives you kind of like that glowy look. So you could almost use this as like a bronzer highlight just to give you like a glowiness to the skin. Alright, now for the thing I'm really excited about, this blush. So, super cute. It's like cardboard kind of plasticky material. It comes with like a little brush and a mirror on one side. How does this close? So this is like a really natural rosy color. It's not really showing up on me too well because I am kind of dark right now like I said I'm kind of tan but I feel like this color is perfect for like every day it's just like a nice rosy color now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows so I'm just gonna take the comb side and comb them through put them in the place that I like them to be my eyebrows are super I really long eyebrow hair so they just tend to go wherever they want this is really, really nice. It's like really pigmented, really creamy, kind of has like a waxy feeling. Eyebrows done. I really like this. It's been so long since I have like filled in my eyebrows because I've been using the Benefit Give Me Brow and I forgot like how much I love like a nice strong brow. Okay, so now moving on to eyes. I'm going to use the NYC Individual Eyes brown eyes smoking I'm not really sure what the heck this would be called smoky brown maybe I don't know but there is a primer for your eyes looks like like a highlight shade and then one two three, four different eyeshadows so I'm just gonna take the primer on my finger and just put it on my eyes so I'm not sure if this is gonna be like the best primer in the world it doesn't really feel like it doesn't feel like tacky or it's not like really setting it's just really creamy and it's just moving on my eye by itself so I have a feeling that that might crease but we'll give it a minute and see if it dries okay so on a flat like shade brush I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm just gonna put that all over me all over the eye So these are really pigmented shadows. They're a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. It's been a while since I've used NYC and last time I used it maybe like a few years ago I didn't like the eyeshadows at all. So I don't know if they've like changed the formulation of their eyeshadows but they're definitely a lot nicer. Alright so I just put that over my eyelid kind of messy because I'm going to blend it out in a little bit and then I'm going to take the lighter shade and I'm just going to put this on the inner third of my eye. So now on a blending brush, I'm going to take the like third color. If you go up, I guess it's the third. If you go down, it's the second. I don't really know which way you would go. But I'm going to put that on a blending brush and put it on the outer corner and just kind of blend it in through the crease and blend everything together. And 
And then on like a little smudger brush, I'm going to take the eyeshadow that I put all over my lid and just put on my bottom lash line. I don't really want to do anything too smoky because I have to go to class after this. So I'm not trying to look like pretty woman right now. I'm trying to look like I'm going out. But if you guys would want me to do like a smoky eye tutorial, then just give this video a thumbs up and I can do that. I don't think I've ever done like a dark gray black smoky eye. So the eyeshadows are like a bit chalky, or maybe it's just the primer, but they tend to like get all patchy on my eyes, and you know what, I bet it's the primer. Alright, now I'm going to take this like highlight shade, oh it's like a cream, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone, it's kind of just like glitter. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice for like a highlight that comes in a palette, like you could use this on your cheekbones, down your bridge of your nose. It's kind of like a creamy highlight. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to do some liquid liner and hopefully I don't make a giant mess. So this is super watery, but it is super, it's like really pigmented and nice and even though it's really watery, it doesn't really, because a lot of times with watery eyeliner, when you line your line, your la your line, and then you go back over that line that you just used, it kind of like picks up the product and moves it. And that doesn't really do it with this, so it's really nice. It's definitely not something I can't believe she started using this. Like this is the first liquid liner she experimented with, because this is kind of hard to use. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner because I don't think that's gonna turn out very well for myself because it's been forever since I've used like a brush. Because I just use like a felt tip pen. So, um, wing liner, no. I'm just going to do like a thin line across my lash line. Okay, liner done. I actually really, really like this liner. And I see why everyone is always talking about the e.l.f. liquid liner. It's really nice. I don't know if she curled her lashes, but I'm going to curl mine. Technically, I guess an eyelash curler is like... Uh, a tool. Alright, so mascara time. Alright, so that is mascara done. I really like this mascara. It kind of gives you like, kind of gives you like spidery lashes, which I'm kind of a fan of. So I guess if you don't like spidery lashes, then probably not your mascara for you. But I really like this. I mean, what do you guys think? I think it looks good. It's really nice for underneath like your bottom lashes because it kind of has like a sticky tacky kind of formulation so it really grabs onto your bottom lashes and like coats every single one. This would be like a really nice base mascara because it is kind of sticky and tacky so it would really like cling to the second mascara that you use but it's not clumpy so like this. So last but not least it flips and I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color in Rose to the Occasion. So, really excited about this. She talks about these on her channel all the time. So, really excited. It smells kind of like paint. So, I love the color. And my first impression is these are very, very similar to the, what are those called? NYX Soft Matte Cream Lipstick Lip liquid lipstick thing. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The NYX lip, matte lip cream or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Very similar in texture. This has, oh, it's got like little glitters in it. I didn't notice that. That's cute. Ooh. But I really, oh, it's like drying matte. Okay. I really like this. This is super nice. It dries. So when you put it on, it's kind of like a cream formula and now it is drying to a matte color. The color is just gorgeous. I love a rosy, dusty, mauvey pink color and this is beautiful. So this is the finished look. I can take my bangs down, fluff the hair a little. Finished look. Freaking love it. I think it looks so good. She did so much better than me first of all and this was my idea. Like, what was wrong with me? Why didn't I put more thought? I really did put a lot of thought into the products I got her, though. I promise. But I just didn't get her as many because I'm not as...
friggin' budgety and crafty like she was. Damn it! So overall, I pretty much loved everything. I will say the eyeshadow base in this thing, probably not the best. I think the primer kind of made the eyeshadows kind of patchy a little bit. It just, it just feels like a concealer. It doesn't feel like a primer where you want your primer to be either dry or kind of tacky so it's going to hold on to the eyeshadow. It just felt really creamy and kind of moved around but the eyeshadows were really nice. I freaking love this. I honestly think the only thing I'm going to do is just like put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and like around my nose and go to class. Like I think this is something I would totally wear. I love it. Thank you Lux. I think you did fantastic and I loved everything. Everything was so awesome. You did such a good job. So that is everything. Sorry that I keep looking at myself. I just can't even, like everything is so good. 20 bucks. Oh my goodness. All right. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out Lux's video as well and see what I got for her. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And make sure to subscribe to her channel if you aren't already. She's literally so cool. She's just like a cool, chill person. Honestly, so cool. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.